Hello friends, welcome to Shelter in Place. Scripture, inspiration, prayer, take a sip of life. Dear Lord, help me to be open to you for this time as I put aside the cares of this world. Fill my mind with your peace, your love. Psalm 61, 1-3, NIV Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. Today's book is written by Elizabeth Canham, an author, priest, and spiritual formation teacher who offers retreats and workshops in Black Mountain, North Carolina. In this lovely treasure, Finding Your Voice in the Psalms, an Invitation to Honest Prayer, she conveys her love for the Psalms in order to lure us to discover their beauty and power. She explores seven themes found in the Psalms, hearing God's word in stillness and silence, resting in God's grace, finding stability in God's faithfulness, dealing with disappointment, anger, and pain, celebrating creation, touching the holy in the ordinary, and discovering joy and learning to praise. In each section, she suggests beginning with prayer, reading a psalm slowly, using the Benedictine practice of reading, meditation, response, and contemplation. She includes some helpful reflection questions, and then writing a prayer as a psalm in response to God. This book helps us to bring all of our emotions to God, including joy, anger, desperation, and yearning for God. Here's a portion from the section on God as our rock. The great rock outcrop where we were climbing was majestic, and from its summit the sea was visible on a clear day. It was part of the Snowdonia Range, rugged, challenging, and very beautiful. Wildflowers bloomed abundantly, and sheep roamed the hills or gathered round to peer at us when we stopped to picnic in one of the meadows or beside a creek. It was easy to sense holy presence on one of the rare, rainless days, but on the day of our climb, I understood what the psalmists meant when they wrote of God as a rock. The rock simply was. Invincible, steadfast, and invitational, it rose up from the earth in ancient magnificence. Like God, I thought, unchanging through the weather of my experiences. There are seasons of life when turbulence is such that we lose our footing and forget that the rock has not changed. God remains faithful and trustworthy. We can remind ourselves of this truth even when we don't feel it. As today's scripture encourages us, we can call to God honestly and let him lead us to the rock that is higher than we are. God is our rock. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving Spirit may so move every human heart that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.